In this video, we're briefly going to talk about the co-function identities. So co-function identities. So we'll do this in degrees. You can also do it in radians. So we're going to let theta be an acute angle. So let theta be acute. That means that its measure is strictly between 0 and 90 degrees. And the first a co-function identity is for the sine function. So the sine of theta is equal to the cosine of 90 degrees minus theta. If you were doing this in radians, uh, you would replace 90 degrees with pi over 2. And then the cosine of theta, it's pretty easy to memorize, it's just sine instead of 90 degrees minus theta. So sine and cosine are cofunctions, hence the name cosine. You can do the same thing uh, with secant and cosecant. So the secant of theta is equal to the cosecant of 90 degrees minus theta. Likewise, the cosecant of theta is equal to the secant of 90 degrees minus theta. And the very last ones are uh, tangent and cotangent. So the tangent of theta is equal to the cotangent. Really easy. They're all really easy to memorize. 90 minus theta. And then the cotangent of theta, as you probably guessed, is the tangent of 90 degrees minus theta. So again, if theta is in radians, you would replace th uh, 90 degrees with pi over 2. Let's go ahead and do a couple of simple examples. So you see how this works. It's actually very, very simple. Once you know how to do it, it's easy. If you don't know how to do it, it's impossible. <laughs> All right, so the question will say to express in terms of its co-function. So express in terms of its co-function. Co-function. All right, so part A. Let's try secant of 39 degrees. So the secant of 39 degrees, well, how would you do this? Well, the co-function is cosecant. So this would be cosecant. And then this is your theta here, right? This is your theta. So it'd be 90 minus theta. So it'd be 90 degrees minus 39 degrees. Okay? And 90 minus 39 is 51. So it'd be cosecant of 51 degrees. And that's it. That's the final answer. So the secant of 39 degrees is equal to the cosecant of 51 degrees. And we leave the answer like this because it says express in terms of its cofunction. So that's exactly what we have done. Let's try a harder one. Tangent of pi over 3. So the cofunction for tangent is cotangent. So this would be cotangent. Ah, but now it's not degrees, it's radians. So this is our theta. So here we have to put not 90, but pi over 2 minus, and then our theta, which is pi over 3. Right, that's our theta, right? So it's kind of like 90 minus theta, except it's pi over 2 minus theta. OK, so this is the cotangent. Now, you have to subtract these, so we have to have the same denominator. So the common denominator is 6. So we're going to multiply this one by 3 over 3, and this one by 2 over 2. That's going to give us 3 pi over 6 minus 2 pi over 6. So that's equal to the cotangent. And then so 3 pi over 6 minus 2 pi over 6 is simply pi over 6. So that would be the final answer for that case. One more. Let's do another one with secant. So say secant of 1. So whenever you write 1 and there's no degree symbol, you have to assume it's in radians. So this would simply be the cosecant. So we're in radians, so we use pi over 2 instead of 90 degrees, minus theta. And our theta here is simply 1. So it's just pi over 2 minus 1. And that's it. You leave it just like that. I hope this video made sense.